Well, hi, Chuck. I see you're sitting here with the lit advent wreaths today. Well, yes, we're back at the advent wreaths today, and the first candle that we lit before is burning now, and it's the candle of awakening. Okay. And it's helping me to remember to stay awake. Oh, I've been thinking about being awake and open to God all week. Oh, that's so great. wonderful. And, and now, you know, it's time to light the second candle. Okay, and that candle is? That candle is anticipating. It, what? Something great must be happening. Something that we have to get ready for. So, anticipating is the name of the second candle. Yes. And I think there's a story about anticipating in, in the Bible. And I think it's about a guy named John. Yeah, John the Baptist. Okay. I have it right here. Oh, well, did you read it? I sure can. John the Baptist. John was an unusual man. He had lots of hair and a long beard. His clothes looked like his face. They too were furry and hairy. His clothes were made of camel's hair held together with a leather belt. John ate strange foods, including wild honey and locusts and a kind of grasshopper. Yuck! God gave John an important job. His job was to tell people that Jesus was coming and help them get ready to believe what Jesus would teach them. John knew the things Jesus would tell people were the most important things in the world. When he taught people, John stood by the river and yelled up, Hey, all of you, tell God you're sorry for your sins. Turn your life around and act in ways that are good and honest. Then he would turn to another group and shout, Are you listening? This is important. Jesus is coming. He is the Messiah. He will save all of us. Day after day, John continued teaching, preaching, and crying out so people would listen. Many people came to hear what John had to say about Jesus. There were rich and poor people, honest and dishonest people, nice and not so nice people. Some people listened to John, some people didn't. Some people said, that man must be a messenger from God. Some said, he is really odd, I'm getting out of here. Many people believed the message John told. Those people said, I'm sorry for my sins. I want God to forgive me. To each, John said, God does forgive you. He baptized those people in the river. The people started calling him John the Baptist. John the Baptist had done a good job. The people were ready to hear the message Jesus would bring. Wow, that's quite the story. So, John helped people get ready. He helped people to anticipate something that was coming. Yes. You know, that makes me think about when company is coming to my house and, and it's special company, maybe it's, maybe it's family members or maybe it's friends. There are things we do to get ready at our house. We, um, we get out a tablecloth and put a tablecloth on the table and, and we get out the fancy dishes. We don't use the things that we eat off of every day. We get out nice dishes and, and set the table and, and put flowers on the table. We clean the house and we make sure that it smells good and it's fresh. And then we're ready for people to come. Oh, and, and maybe we even dress up a little bit. Yeah. Because it's important to look nice for your company. It's exciting to get ready for company. It sure is. And, and you know, if they just show up and ring the doorbell and I've been out cutting the grass and I'm smelly, I don't want to have company. But when we can get ready, when we can prepare ourselves, it's great when we can anticipate this fun visit. That's what John's telling the people to do. You got to get ready. But he didn't talk about um, dinner plates or flowers or tablecloths. He talked about how we how we take care of others, how we pay attention to people who need help and, and give food to people who are hungry and make sure people who are forgotten get remembered. Um, that's what he says we got to do to get ready for Jesus, and and the, that's how we make Jesus welcome in our lives and in our hearts. Yeah. Should we light another candle? I think we should. The candle is the second one. Is what did we say? Anticipating. Because we're anticipating that Jesus is going to come. Okay. So pretty. Is that? Mm -hmm. So awakening and anticipating. Let's pray. Help us, God, to get ready for the coming of your son, Jesus, into our world and most especially in our lives. It's such a gift you give us, and we want to do our best to make 
ourselves ready and to get our world ready for your gift, your son, whose presence is love in our hearts and in the world. Amen.